What is up everybody? It is Wick here. I am at a rummage sale checking it out trying to find some good deals This is one of those rummage sales where everything is a dollar No matter what it is did not see anything that they decided to price up So pretty exciting coming here because if you find something you're probably gonna make some good money and guess what? I found some pretty good deals today checking out these hats Actually, I got a Stetson hat here. I came back and checked some of those hats a bit closer. One was a Stetson. I looked at the one. It might have been the eyes. I just couldn't see the name on it. So I just wanted to get over here, check out these hats to see if there's any great sports hats. Obviously, some sports hats can be worth hundreds of dollars. So I don't want to miss those. And I want to go over to the toys, over to the shoes, check out that stuff as well. Not a big rummage sale by any means, but... When everything's a dollar, you know, there's a lot of opportunity just sitting around. Toys, not very exciting. Some plush, I don't see anything I want. Go over here, check out these shoes, and I see a pair of New Balance right away in this box. And turns out they are brand new. They're a vintage, kind of sought after pair. So should be able to make some great money on those. And the best part, only paying a dollar for them. Here's some sort of boots, just checking to see if they're anything name brand. I don't have a lot of shoes, I've been to the sale before, and uh, a lot of times they have a lot more shoes, and I got some really incredible shoe deals in the past. Uh, one time I got some Jordans and some other things, ended up pulling like $750 worth of shoes, uh, paying only a dollar a piece. Here's some Nike Airs, and I'm checking these out, like, yeah, they look pretty good for a dollar, so I'll throw them in the Ikea bag. Uh, something in this box. I'm not even sure what it was. I was kind of looking. I think there were skates of some sort And I just kind of like well, I don't want to mess with those right now came back later and uh, they were not there uh, Most of the times I don't want to buy skates. Here's a pair of Doc Martens shoes and A uh, dollar for these of course and ended up flipping those for $30. They sold very quickly 30 plus shipping come back over here to check out these new shoes I'm pretty sure they're just some, you know, overseas kind of cheap shoe, no-name shoe that came over. Um, I left them. I didn't want to mess with them. Uh, even something new like that, it's just too hard to move online. And even if you could, it's probably not going to be much profit. Uh, they're probably all over the place online, uh, people trying to sell them. See this robot popping out over here in the plush, but it seems to be a newer one. Nothing very special. Toys again, just kind of disappointing. This is like a Lego. It looked like a Lego set, but I'm pretty sure that was just a Lego book. Uh, some mugs, kind of look like Fire King mugs, but they weren't. Uh, what else? Some cookie jars. Some of those can be a good. I actually got a cookie jar uh, at this sale. Not that one though. It was a school bus. Here's some clothing. A uh, hat in here. Trying to see. I determined it's not something I want. You got some clothing here. Pulled some really good vintage clothing at this sale before. Uh, good jackets, good hats, and good t-shirts. Come back over here. I'm just going to go through these jackets and shirts. The men's section. See if I can find anything worth picking up. Don't see much. There's a jean jacket, which is not actually vintage or a good brand. But I do see this. This is an L.L. Bean. Well, it's a L.L. Bean like barn jacket, chore jacket, and I'm like, I'll pick it up. It's only a dollar. Uh, this is a style that people like. It does look like I can sell that for around 40 bucks. So I pick it up. Didn't see any other shirts, unfortunately. Uh, just as these sales go on over the years and they keep doing new sales, uh, people in the church, this is a church sale, so it's probably just people in their church donating stuff. All the good stuff's going to be donated probably. So you got to find the sales where they're really reaching out to the community and there's just new people donating all the time. So here's another rummage sale I went to. I got this Sonic toothbrush. It's brand new for $3. Should be able to make some good profit on that. Checking out these books and Bibles. Uh, some books and Bibles, of course, are worth a lot of money. It's been a long time since I found a really good Bible flip. Uh, I remember buying, what is it, the Fire Bible at a rummage sale. It's been about a year now, and I sold that for like $60, it seems like. 
I might have that name wrong. It might not be a fire Bible. <laughs> uh, just was what's in my head. Not a lot of high quality items here. Just kind of your Tupperware, your cookware stuff. Uh, not brand name type stuff that I'm seeing anyway. Over there, I see an, an Ariat boot box. There's Christmas, like wreath type stuff, garland stuff in there. So not actual boots, unfortunately. And pillows. You know, that's one thing I don't buy, pillows. I bet there's some great pillow bolos out there. We should do some pillow research sometime. A couple Ohio State lamps, which are decent, but you know, nothing special is going to move that great. And we're at a garage sale now. Stopped at, checking it out, trying to find some deals. Lots of stuff in these boxes. Looks more like a kind of a flea market type sale. Uh, just the kind of stuff that you would see. Uh, maybe it's someone's like home stuff. I don't know. But little knickknacks, just kind of collectible stuff. Let me know, of course, if you see anything great. And let me know in the comments uh, what you've been finding at garage sales. I'd love to hear that. And also, don't forget to hit that like button for me. I really do appreciate that. Uh, it helps the video out. And yeah, I didn't see anything at this sale. But I did find some great things today. Let me show you everything I got. Here's my haul from a couple rummage sales. Got some decent finds here. Start back here. We got a brand new pair of New Balance shoes. 4E, 11.5. I feel like I always find extra wide shoes that are brand new New Balance. These are really cool. And I think I sell those for about $75 because of the style. Paid only a dollar for those. So absolutely phenomenal. I mean, they might even be vintage. I'm not 100% sure on that. Didn't really pay attention to the date when I looked them up. Got a couple hats for a dollar this one is a stetson and anytime i can see a stetson hat for a dollar i'm going to pick it up last year i picked up a vintage one at a garage sale I ended up selling it for uh, i think it was 120 bucks paid a dollar for that also this one doesn't seem to be as good i think it's probably a 30 dollar hat it's in really good condition and i also got this wool cabela's hat and some of these cabela's hats are actually very valuable this one seems like it's like a 25 maybe even 30 dollar hat as well then i got this golf pro hat which i think i paid a dollar for as well this is a mickey mouse classic just a golf hat vintage. Actually, I didn't realize it was that dirty in there. You know, it's like maybe 8 to $10 profit, if that. I've sold these Mickey hats before. Some of them I've sold for $25, $30. It just depends on the graphic and everything. But between the three pairs of hats, I think I'll make some good profit regardless. Picked up a couple more shoes for a dollar. Got some Doc Martens in quite good condition. This is a more common kind of cheap line that they make. So it's not big money. I think I usually sell these between $25, $30. They do always sell though. I'll use some of the Doc Martens balsam on them and they'll look great. I picked up these for a dollar, but it was very dark at this rummage sale. And it got some sort of like dye. Looks like maybe the blue around the toe there got wet or something and stained. It's unfortunate because these are a pair of Nike Airs that are pretty sought after. I could probably sell those for $30 if it wasn't for that. I don't think there's any way of really getting that out. So it's only paid a dollar for them. No big deal. Maybe I'll donate them or something or just put them on there for like 10 bucks plus shipping. See if anyone wants them. <laughs> I ended up getting some brand new toothbrushes. And I got this Oral-B. It's $3. It's brand new seal. It's nothing special, but it should sell between $20 and $25. But... This one had me a bit more excited because I'm pretty sure I've sold this before or one very similar. Some of these Sonic toothbrushes can be hundreds of dollars. Denti Guard, I don't think is a good brand, so I wasn't expecting like miracles or anything, but the only one I could find of this set sold for $51 and something cents on auction uh, with a lot of bidders. So I'm probably going to put it on there for like $75. I can't remember what I sold the last one for. I just remember I paid $10 for it at a garage sale. This one was also $3, so between the two toothbrushes, I think I'm going to make some good profit on that. Got these brand new HP wireless mice. I got these for a dollar a piece, and I think I'll make about $10 a piece on them in the end. Nothing special, but what I did notice for this model was there's no pink and white ones that I could find available, so... You know, maybe I have something a bit more unique. We'll have to worry about the competition. They'll sell a bit quicker. Got one of these Lightkeeper Pros. I usually sell these on Amazon in the Christmas season. 
make about $15 profit on them, pay like 50 cents for that. Here's a nice pickup, this Nikon Coolpix camera. This was only a dollar. It's complete in there, got all the chargers, paperwork and everything. And uh, I was looking up comps and it looks good. I think I can sell this for around $100, 90 to $100. So probably could get more on Amazon. However, Nikon is a restricted brand for me now. I used to be able to sell them, but you know, stuff happens on Amazon, but Still happy to find that for only a dollar. Thought this was sealed at first because they had it taped up to look like it was sealed. Uh, probably not on purpose though, but it's only $2 for a box full of Legos. I don't know if it's complete. I think it would sell for like $40 complete pre-owned, but there's also another set shoved in there, which isn't big money, but it's always appreciated. Maybe I'll check the pieces on that, but chances are I'm just going to throw this with my other bulk Legos. They have stuff separated in bags, so if it looks good in there, maybe I'll, I'll check it out, try to sell it for $40, but at $2 by Legos, it's just good. I could probably sell the minifigs if they're in there and make some good profit. And just selling the pieces, probably at least $10 profit, right? Got one of these Fisher Price Music Box record players. Uh, this is actually the, what is it, like 2012 version. I got it because the records are in there. And this will still sell for like around $20. It was $2, it's in good condition, it works. I ought to pay $2 just to get the records uh, if it was a vintage one because I need some records for the vintage one. But yeah, that's a little bread and butter item. It's clean and working, so why not pick it up for couple bucks. Here's a vintage Nike windbreaker. Got this for 50 cents. I think there's about $15 profit in it. Seems to be in good condition. And then below it for a dollar, I got this L.L. Bean. I believe this is vintage. This is like a chore jacket. Pretty good. I found them selling for about $40 on eBay. It's in great condition. So should have no problem selling that between 30 and 40 bucks. Picked up a couple cross stitch items, even though I just found a ton at a sale. Grabbed them because they were a dollar a piece sealed. And I don't think they're anything too special. I think I can sell that one for about 20 bucks. There was no actual comps for this one, but some similar Craftways Christmas stuff was selling between 20 and 25. Then you got this Wonder Art uh, Mrs. Claus, just kind of one here. Uh, I think would sell for like 15. These things are easy to list and ship, so I don't mind paying a dollar for them when I see them. Then I just decided to grab this because it was a dollar. This is a school bus cookie jar. It is vintage technically now. It's from 2002. There's a lot of different school bus cookie jars that could, will do fairly well. And no, I think it's something I can sell for $20 plus shipping. Just as it was only a dollar, I decided to give it a shot. They're easy to list and actually pretty easy to ship, even though they're breakable. I wouldn't pay like $5 for that at Goodwill or anything to sell, but that's kind of the trap with these rummage sales sometimes when things are only a dollar and 50 cents. You buy things that you normally wouldn't buy that aren't worth a lot of money. That might be long tail just because they're a great deal. But I think I did pretty well. I got some pretty good items. I, I'll have the total, of course, up on the screen. And if you could hit that like button before you go, I really appreciate you watching. Check and see if you're subscribed. Subscribing helps me out even more. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.